His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on the anniversary of his accession to the throne. His Majesty congratulated the Jordanian monarch and wished him good health and happiness and for Jordan and its people for the progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa also sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on the anniversary of his accession to the throne. He sent a similar cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II. The Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Wa'el Nasser Al Mubarak, met with the Advisor of Food and Agriculture Organization to GCC States and Yemen, Dr. Kayan Akram Jaf. The Minister commended the Office's efforts in supporting agricultural development plans in the GCC and Yemen. He emphasized the keenness to enhance cooperation with the Office in various fields. The Minister was briefed on the activities of the Office and the efforts exerted to develop the agricultural sector in addition to the research and studies conducted by the office to benefit from them. Dr. Jaff reviewed FAO's plans implemented in the Arab region and emphasized FAO's readiness to strengthen cooperation with Bahrain in various fields. The Kingdom of Bahrain is celebrating World Food Safety Day, which falls on June 7th of each year, to promote global efforts to ensure food security. Bahrain prioritizes food safety to protect consumers' health. The Health Ministry is actively involved in ensuring food safety by implementing measures, developing contingency plans, verifying food quality, enhancing risk management capabilities, and increasing readiness for unexpected events. The celebration of World Food Safety Day is an opportunity to raise awareness about food safety, highlight its impact on health and development, and intensify joint efforts for healthy practices and food security. The head of the Bahrain Hajj mission, Sheikh Adnan bin Abdullah Al Ghattan, affirmed the readiness of all missions committees, with all members having arrived at the mission's headquarters in Mecca al Mukarrama, where they began their assigned duties as per the plans agreed upon. He praised the medical team's preparations and efforts to serve Bahrain's pilgrims. The security and engineering committees conducted inspections to ensure the readiness of, combat, of, combat, of, of accommodation sites. Sheikh Al Ghattan affirmed that pilgrims can benefit from medical services available at the Uqali Hospital and praise the efforts exerted by Saudi Arabia in serving pilgrims. The Bahraini delegation from the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry participated in the regular general meeting of the Arab-French Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Paris. And we have more details in this report. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry participated in the regular general meeting of the Arab French Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Paris in the presence of the chairman of the chamber, Samir Abdallah Nas, along with representatives of Arab chambers to study ways to new trade exchanges and investments. Members of the Bahrain Chamber also met with representatives of the International Chamber of Commerce to study ways to activate global trade by activating the role of the International Chamber in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which seeks to support small and medium-sized companies to go global through the network of chambers of centers of excellence and the Global Capital Fund in an appropriate geopolitical context. The Bahraini-French relations are considered to be in continuous development due to the Kingdom of Bahrain providing distinguished logistical services and economic factors as a partnership agreement was signed between the French Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Bahrain and Bahrain Exports. It is worth noting that more than 185 French companies from various sectors also operate in Bahrain. The NASA Center for Research and Development in Artificial Intelligence concluded many agreements and memoranda of understanding with government ministries and private sector institutions to invest in technology, advance government work and improve the quality of its services.
The Nasr Center for Research and Development in Artificial Intelligence is considered one of the advanced centers as it provides an advanced environment for research and innovation, in addition to providing innovative solutions to public and private institutions with the aim of enhancing the role of the Kingdom of Bahrain as a leading center in the field of innovation and technical development and stimulating economic growth and sustainable development in the field of artificial intelligence. Sana Sheikh Nasser's AI Research and Development Center is considered today the biggest artificial intelligence and machine learning firm in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Also, we are embarking towards uh, regionalization and internalization by displaying our capabilities and many projects that's implemented in AI in the Kingdom to the neighboring countries and international level. We not only provide the technology side of it, but also the governance and the ethical parts that we take into consideration to ensure safe and secure solutions are delivered to the end users. Today we range our implementations to various public and private sectors, be it in finance, industry, healthcare, uh, insurance and many other sectors. International certificates of Bahrain youth expertise and innovative projects are provided to students by employing artificial intelligence in various fields. Keeping pace with global technological developments and their sustainability standards, in addition to the best and latest international standards and security measures, are the goals of the center in order to provide advanced programs in the field of artificial intelligence. Our goal in this center is developing an AI solutions. These AI solutions uh, utilize in many different sectors, like we have for the oils and gas, we have for banking, healthcare, and finance. These many different sectors are currently having a vast number of data and vast amount of amount of data. That, uh, with the help of technology, with the help of AI in today's world, so we see it that it will Im it's improve their data daily operations. We're very um, involved uh, within very different industries. So uh, one of the very um, useful skills and experience that, that we gain here uh, is uh, from seeing how uh, workflows work in different sectors and different places. Uh, we can see how uh, different entities operate uh, and the way uh, things work there. Uh, for example, in the healthcare um, industry. Uh, we get uh, through the solutions to see uh, how their uh, workflows are, which uh, helps us gain uh, a lot of experience. Continuous research and diligent work have achieved remarkable accomplishments at the local and international levels, and the center has become now one of the most prominent and important bodies specialized in research and solutions, in addition to innovative artificial intelligence projects at the global level. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Mohammed Youssef.